What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to play Nico's Red Truck by Dijon. I'm going to show you the guitar part first and then following up with the bass. Now if you haven't seen the cover I did, you can click right here. And then before I go any further, there's two things I have to mention. One, I had to use a capo and that's only for the guitar, not for the bass. And then the second part is I learned how to play this song all by ear. So if you happen to know any chords that sound better than what I'm going to show you, please comment down below. We're just all here to learn. And if you're new to the channel, click like and subscribe. I show my new music and I do cover songs and I teach you how to play songs. So let's start off with the guitar. Okay, so the verse and the bridge section of the song are the same. I just don't even use a pick at all, just to let you know. And this is all in standard tuning, just to give a heads up. I use my ring finger, my middle finger, and my index finger. The pinky we use later on, but I'll show you in a second. Just the first chord is this. And you only have to plug the strings that you're playing the notes on. So I do four on A, three on D, and one on B. So altogether it should be like that. And so when you play the notes, in the song, it goes from using the B string and sliding up to the fourth fret on the second fret and then hopping on to the fourth fret with your pinky. So it goes. And then, so you're just playing this whole thing once and then just sliding with your finger and then hammering on with your pinky, that's it. So on the bottom, it's just this. And then the next part is the chord following that. So you would only have to pluck the second on the E and the second on the B. So you just bar down with your first finger down. One more time. So following that, you're gonna be on this chord, but hopping between the fourth fret E and fourth fret on the B string. So it will be like this. And that part, it goes, Four on E, open on B, four on B, open on B, four on E, open on B, four on B, open on B. So. One more time. So there's a part in his chord progression where he kind of does an alternate version of that jumping between E and B string. So I'll show you what that is. So when you start from the, it goes. So when you get there, it goes four on E, open on B, four on B, open on B, four on E, open on B. So the next part is you bar down on both the B and E string on the second fret and then slide down just to the E on the first fret. So. And then jump to the fourth fret on the B with your pinky. So it goes like this. Alright, so the chorus goes like this. You're going to put the capo onto the 4th fret like so. And then the chorus is just two chords. It goes 9 on A, 11 on D, and 10 on G. Then the second chord is 9 on E, 11 on D, and 10 on G. So although those are just the two chords to this chorus part, the main focus is on the finger picking of these chords. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So 
So it goes 9, 11, and then open on B and E. You could just use your middle and ring finger to pluck those at the same time. So you go, and then you go 9, 11, 10, open on B, and then back on 10, and then you go 9 on E, 11 on D, and then open again on the same strings, and then go 9, 11, 10, open, 10, and then go back. Alright guys, so this is the verse part of the bass section. So it starts off with the 4 on A, 6 on D, 2 on E, hold it there for a little bit, and then goes 4 on A, 6 on D, and 8 on D, and then goes back to this like 4 on A, 6 on D, and then 2 on E, and then you go to 2 on E, 4 on D, 3 on D, and then goes back to 4 on A, and then 6 on D, and 2 on E. So I'll show you how it goes slowly, all together. So when you do the transition, it should slide from 8 to 10 on the G string, and then just a hammer on from 10 to 11 on the D string. So 8 to 10 on the G string, you slide up, and then 10 to 11 on the D string, you just hammer on. And then 11 on the A string. So it goes. Then the chorus starts like this. 2 on E and 4 on A. So this part uh, during the A section, there's a lick that the bassist does where it goes to the 8 on the D string and then 6 on the A string and then 8 on the A string. So 8 on D 6 on A, and then 8 on A. So what you want to do is just alternate between those two different versions. So it'd be like... Now, the last part of this song, where he transitions back into the verse, all he does is go from 6 on A to 8 on A. Back to going to... Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more of my videos, click like and subscribe. I want people to join. I want you to join so I can teach you how to play music. That's important to me. And I understand that the song might be difficult for some how to play, especially when you're stretching your hands and your fingers. Um, that takes time, it's practice. But I'm always here and you can message me on Instagram, DM me any questions you might have, whether it's in regards to this video or one I posted before. And if there's a song you would like me to teach you how to play in the future, comment down below. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. All right, till then guys, take care, peace. Sitting there right by the window, yeah I'm feeling dead inside of the middle, yeah I wanna clear my eyes, wanna clear my mind